You will not find many slaves in Bristol. They keep the trade at a distance. Yes, Mr. Gandhi. I wrote a... Look here. The ships sail on a three-cornered route. First they take cloth, guns, brassware to Africa. Yes, I know. These goods are exchanged for slaves. The slaves are then taken to America for sale. It's a hundred-day voyage. A terrible business. The final leg is heading home with a cargo of sugar, rum and tobacco. The trade is triangular. Yes, I know. And you see, Mr. Clarkson, the traders make three lots of profit. One for each leg of the journey. The crew can be at sea for a year before they see Bristol again. Yes, Mr. Gandhi. Much of what you have told me, I know already. Really, Mr. Clarkson? You are a university man from Cambridge? Yes, I wrote a Latin essay. Well, Mr. Clarkson, I am just a conveyancer. But before I became a lawyer, I was at sea. You were on the slave ships? I've seen the horrors at first hand. I fear at first I may have underestimated Mr. Gandhi. From his background, he has much to tell me. What is this arduous task that I have undertaken? To attempt to subvert one of the branches of the commerce of this great place that lies before me. My only hope of support is from a small group of Quakers. information about the slave trade. Yes. The committee in London has asked me to collect evidence of the trade so that Mr. Wilberforce can take the campaign to Parliament. You say trade, young man, but it is slavery that's against religion. Well, let us first consider slave trading, not slavery itself, because halting the trade must be the first stop on the road to abolition. The trade is inconsistent with reason, religion and humanity and we have long held out against it. You can take our opinion back to London. You all have high ideals, but apart from Mr. Gandhi, you do not have the testimony that I need. You must understand, sir, that we have some knowledge of slavery. We regularly debate its evils. You talk, but you do not act. Mr. Clarkson, please. I am sorry. If I am to get the facts that Mr. Wilberforce needs to take the issue to Parliament, I must understand the trade's economics and the various circumstances belonging to it. Most of all, I need sworn testimony from those who have taken part in the trade. What Mr. Clarkson says is correct. My own experience aboard slave ships is a singular one. Generally, we Quakers are so distanced ourselves from the trade we have very little first-hand experience of it. What do you propose to do then, sir? I am resolved. Much as I disapprove of such places, I must visit taverns. Taverns? I must hear what ordinary sailors speak of the trade. I am not afraid. We have God on our side. Perhaps the devil of drink will loosen their tongues.